Hello, clever engineers. Today, we're going to see how to quickly fix a crooked or sunken switch or outlet using just a few simple tools. We have a non-contact voltage tester, a multimeter, just to confirm that there is no voltage when we're working on the circuit, leveling plates, and just a couple of screwdrivers. And we can get this done in no time. Let's get started. So we need to make sure that our electricity is off and we're not working on a live circuit. Now, this particular circuit has a um, indicator on the outlet and it's on. So of course, you know that there's electricity there, but if you only have a switch, if you don't have an indicator on your outlet, we're just going to test this. So we're going to use our non-contact voltage tester. We turn this on and then you could see, even if we don't stick this into one of the prongs, you can hear and see that there is voltage. If we do this right along the switch, we also know about where the terminals are that we have voltage as well. Now, why are we testing this now before turning the breaker off? The reason is because we have a frame of reference. So number one, we know that our non-contact voltage tester works. Number two, we know exactly what it sounds like, where it's going to be generating the uh, tone and the light. So that way, when we turn the breaker off, uh, again, if you don't have an indicator light, if these happen to be on two different circuits, if they're both light switches that are on two different breakers, you have a frame of reference. So we've got our breaker off and I'm going to remove the outer plate. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a manual screwdriver and it just comes off with, in this case, four screws. Sometimes it's two if it's a smaller one. Sometimes it's uh, going to have little uh, covers on the screws or even like a little plastic surround. But uh, I have never seen a plate that doesn't have screws somewhere. So if you don't see them right away, uh, take off maybe some outer rings, little plugs, things like that. They will be covering the screws. So we've got this off. We're just going to double confirm that there's no electricity. So you're going to want to do one more quick check. You know, again, you see our indicator is off, but just to make sure there's nothing here, there's nothing there. And if uh, there was electricity, uh, you would definitely hear a beep and see the light on that uh, little tester. Now we can also double confirm using our meter. We're just going to switch this to AC volts. I'm just using this little meter, which is, which is actually a great quality, very compact meter, uh, perfectly suitable for this purpose. So we can try in here. So you can see there's nothing there. Um, you could see here, um, you may not be able to see from your angle, it's actually wrapped in electrical tape, but uh, if you loosen the crooked switch here, so we're, we're actually just going to loosen it about half an inch, right? We don't, we don't need to back it out all the way or anything close to it. We just need to be able to put the leveling plate on. So you can see that there is... Um, absolutely no visible terminals. So we actually don't really need to uh, do any more confirmation because there's nothing there that you can even touch from where this is. Now, of course, if you're going to take this out all the way, um, you will want to do a little bit of additional testing. But for something like this, uh, we definitely can confirm and we can even uh, do it one more time with the uh, non-contact uh, tester uh, where we've got uh, a way to now get it to even touch the electrical tape and we could see that there's absolutely no electricity there whatsoever. So what we're going to do now that we have loosened this a little bit is we're going to just take our leveling plate and we need to try to figure out the best way to put this on so that it fits nicely and levels the outlet. So they're not symmetrical. See the top and the bottom a little bit different. Um, so in this case, now th this has paint on it because this was actually here before, um, I, before I added this uh, extra outlet uh, on the old switch. So you could see that whoever installed it, it was already crooked and they fixed it. So, but uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It just has some paint on it. It's perfectly flat and straight. So we are going to reuse this. And the way I'm going to put this on in this particular spot, uh, we're just going to kind of maneuver this. So see this little notch? It's going to put this under this screw here, right? And then I'm just going to swing it around. And now you can see that it is snug 
and flush. And we are just going to put our screws back so it is, well, tight, not loose. And uh, once we do that, you can see it is perfectly flat, perfectly straight. We can uh, put our plate back here. And you can now see that it is 100% even all around, nothing crooked, nothing sunken, and that is how you do it. Clever engineer out.